Hello, everybody. Welcome to game number seven. Uh, down 100 TV to Kenley. Being down 100 TV isn't that bad, is it, for the bribe? That's the, that is a good thing. That is a good thing about the Roller Dwarves, right? Actually, being down TV all the time isn't that bad when it gets you bribes all the time. So, the problem is not playing perfectly and getting salty. So, today, I'm going to try to play perfectly and not get salty. Um, so there you go. Hello Sigma, hello Kevin Jordan. Glorious to have you. Oh my god, I need to message you, don't I? Holy moly, it's, sorry, I, was, I had a really bad mental health week and then... I don't know, I just haven't... I'm still having a bad mental health week. <laughs> don't know why I said it then, it's just still continuing. It's just still continuing. This is interesting, isn't it? This is this is looking quite a good. When did this happen? This is all like this is almost looking good. Good team now. Do we put the roller on the allies? He might foul it out, mightn't he? Yeah, you might foul it out. Kemri's pretty brutal. Yeah, thick skull, yeah. Yeah, I, Elliot took thick skull on his death roller. I don't hate it, actually. I, I give mine piling on second. <laughs> I give mine piling on second. And while that may appear completely insane, um, I got some use out of it. Hello, Team and Taylor. Quite a lot of adversity in the camera, but there is a chance to beat them. Damn it! I was really hoping he'd forget that. <laughs> He's he was close to forgetting him completely. Yeah, it's nothing exciting, is it? There's some guard, there's some IE blow, there's a wasted tackle. This guy can crack Toon Guardians. The biggest thing is going to be Randall Kaz not letting us bribe. But I mean, the whole, the, hopefully I just stop his defence, right? If I just stop his offence, then the bribe works and... It's an easy win. Also got to play hard defense. Got to play a really hard defense.
I'm gonna blitz him down. I could blitz him. I could blitz him. That saves us a mighty blow hit, doesn't it? One of these two. Ball's there, so I guess this one. Him. That will show you, mate. Hello, Rando Calrissian. No, um, <laughs> wow, team and Uh, no, uh, nothing's bannable. Well, yes, there is actually a bannable meme in this channel, but nobody does it, so it's okay. I occasionally time out J5 and Tony. <laughs> but they're the only one. Sometimes things help meme says. But nothing tyrannical like Elliot. Powering him would have been good, wouldn't it? Unfortunately, letting him reposition a guard is not great. God, why does it take so long? Oh yeah, I want everyone to pick a wrestler, yeah. Yeah, he did get that. A blockless block. Wow, he's really taking like the full 15 seconds to choose the one square he can push. I'm not salty about it, of course. But it's just boring, isn't it? Like, dude. Don't waste our lives for no reason. <laughs> We're already playing Blood Bowl. Don't make it play twice. Don't want to make it take twice as bloody long. There's no salt, there's no salt. This isn't salt. He's got one choice. And he's like taking forever to click the one square that's an option. And he's gonna run out of time on his turn, I hope. He's got one, he's got one bloody option. Oh, he's not going to run out of time, just do everything in the last second. Full wolf bar play. Wow, 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 wow. Dude, after all that, I can just hit the ball instantly. <laughs> after all that, I can just hit the ball in a 2 plus. Is it a 2 plus? 0, 1, 2, 3 plus. But if I hit him, it's good. If I knock him over to 2 plus to hit the ball, and he's got, he's got dodge, obviously. It's just funny that it's an option, isn't it? Could blitz him, block him. 
seems quite reasonable. Good hits back. I guess I want to hit the mighty blow gun every time. Pretty good turn. Two kills and a stun. It's gonna ask some questions. Now I'm just gonna send a carrier pigeon out to uh, see what he's gonna do for his next turn. Alright, let me just get a I bought War and Peace the other day. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna read it. I'm just gonna give it a quick read. Maybe, it's, maybe it's a couple of times here. Yeah. Um, do we outpo this? He's got, he's got several mighty blow. Maybe, maybe he's keep it for a cast. End the turn for fuck's sake! End the fucking turn, man! Yeah, sorry, I'm not gonna look at chat. I'm just I'm literally just gonna read a book while this guy plays his turns. Oh, trick me into looking at the pitch. Right. Well, I read three pages there. <laughs> oh, God. 
<laughs> Flip Fred me, Schmitz. guys. Fantastic. One, two, three, four, five, six, double GFI, chain him in, hit the ball. Uh, run around. Chain him out. He could double GFI in there, then he can punch Pow, and then he can hit the ball, right? Yeah. That works. Is it too clever? Maybe. Because I could just punch him. I can't get 1D even. We'll do one GFI and see if the reroll goes in. Okay. Oh. He's got a guarder. Need this to be a pal. Oh, and I can just chain him. If it's not a pal, I can chain him into there, right? Yeah, that seems reasonable. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Badly hurt. Mm. Why did the guy that I put in just gets cast out instantly? Because actually, if I hadn't done it, I could have pushed him there and I could have blocked him on 2D and pushed and then got tackled on the ball as well. Hmm. Trying 1Ds is really dodgy, isn't it? Just dodge away, no problem. He's still in a quandary as to where to go, though, isn't he?
do any more one of these. So if I just push him, and if I power him, it's really good, isn't it? Punch him first with my evil. Good. Get the power. Really nice. Zupa. Not expecting the push. Sad. Punch, punch, punch. Really nice. Hello, store. Sorry, I'm not looking at chat. I'm not reading chat. I'm reading a book. I'm reading a book. Glorious. No, I won't give in. Until I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. <laughs> it's not storybook, it's uh, it's about like, you know, it's a fucking self-improvement bullshit. You know. The usual. The usual self-improvement bullshit. Um, okay, we don't even have to hit with the uh, roller now, do we? It's not penis enlargement now. Three. I mean, do I even want to hit this guy? Not really. What is he puffing about? Maybe here, right? So that because this is the only way you can hit the ball this turn. So maybe here. Make that harder. Ha! 
How are not spawning cargo? Apparently ever for Dimmy. I read one uh, thing that the five hour work week or something or something like that. If you've if you know that, uh, by Timothy Ferris. And in that he uh he teaches you how to speed read and it's it's pretty good because reading's boring, isn't it? <laughs> so uh I do read very quickly now. One, two, three, I've got to read that. Now they've got mental exercises that I'm going to have to do when I'm not streaming. No, I don't try audiobooks because they're slow, yeah. That's it, basically. I just, I want to fucking read things fast. <laughs> you know, you know, like in Predator, I ain't got time to read. <laughs> oh, Dimmy. To, uh, I know not to foul because I've got a bribe. So, 
punch him first. Hancock begging to be brought up was amazing, wasn't it? Disappointing. Oh, that was a dodge. Didn't even realize. Amazing. <laughs> Leads to a cast. Easy as you like. Hmm. Did quite a good job, didn't you, making all these dice rolls to put some pressure on? Bit sad.
Okay, that was a pretty good turn. <sighs> Made it a bit harder. Sitting there for a week, holy moly, Wolfpack. A healthy balance of salt and player, sorry. Uh, any other channel, not this. Well, Rick's zero salt, isn't he? I'm usually a lot of salt, but today I'm zero salt. Nick's zero salt as well. There's quite, there's a few zero salt people, isn't there? But now I'm going to be zero salt as well. Sorry. Sorry if that disappoints, but it's going to be healthier for myself. Here, really, because it's one in twelve nine six. Oh, I should have blitzed. French kiss, fantastic. I should have blitzed there. Eh? Should have blitzed, so I could have gone there and then assisted. Because that that hit was really worth taking. And I can't do another one. Damn, that should have been a blitz. Not perfect. That's what I get for talking to chat. Right, maybe it'll take a little bit of time to at the start of each turn, I think. Maybe that's how to play perfectly. What does that mean? Connards de nains. I don't know. I assume that's French for well played. You are my hero. <laughs> Way. <laughs> Dwarf bastards. <laughs> Didn't even capitalize. French was not perfect grammar. Tragic. <laughs> oh Hello, Dio. Yeah. Unbelievable, eh? I'm also reading a book. A self-improvement book. I'm on chapter two. <laughs> I'm on chapter two. This guy's taking like ten years to do each turn. It's just, it's just some bullshit self-help thing. Which, you know, might work. Might as well try it, eh? Not even Armour 8, Armour 7. Surprisingly, the team that based with Armour 7 got removed. Absolute shocking. I mean, it is shocking, because it normally doesn't happen. <laughs> but today it did. Cuts at the hell that wow. That's brutal. I should have uh, put him third, but I'm gonna put him first. No problem. The almighty blow. That's good. Oh, I got an extra reroll. Perfection. Three D. 
French kiss. Fantastic. You can uh, 3D this guy as well. Two removals and a stun. And a reroll not really used because got an extra one. Amazing. What a turn. What a play, guys. What a play. This is bloody doing. I've, now it's getting to do like thought experiments, which I can't do, unfortunately, while trying to play Blood Bowl every now and then. Ugh. Yuck. It's actually quite good. It's actually quite good reading a book while because my opponent takes that long. It's better than just sitting there getting mad because it takes so long. Play a creature of havoc. I've got, <laughs> I've got creature of havoc. I've never, I've never, uh, I've never completed creature of havoc. I bought it when they, uh, they like re, redid um, the fighting fantasy books. I could, I could play a creature of havoc. I've literally never done it before. Yeah, I mean, this guy's super slow though, right? He's like, he's waiting 15 seconds to to uh, follow up when there's only one square he can possibly push to. Like, to, sorry, like he's picking the push direction and he's taking the full time and there's no, there's literally no decision to be made. He can go in there and I can just straight up punch him. No, no blitz. Yeah. 
and then he can punch with mighty blow. It's pretty hard, isn't it? You just can't hit these. Two of them have a card, just can't hit them at all. I mean, I guess I could uphill him. But he can knock him down. And if. I guess this is the one to uphill. I don't want to uphill. He's only got two rerolls. Get yourself up. No, I wouldn't know, Mordred, because then it goes slower. <laughs> then it goes slower than if I read it, doesn't it? If you read it, you read like ten times as fast. I read ten times as fast as somebody can fucking speak. Oh god, imagine listening to an audiobook. I couldn't. I mean, fair enough if, like, you're driving or whatever or something, but, like, you know, if you're doing something else, but, like, ugh. I just read it. I'm gonna read The Art of War, Sun Tzu. See if I can read the whole thing in this match. Probably. But I mean, I can read, Mordred. <laughs> I can read during my opponent's turn. Hello, Flicky Flack. Oh man, Flicky. The, by the way, this fucking, this idiotic art of war that I have has some Let's not, let's not, I mean, I'm not being salty here, but there's some moronic guy has translated it. And he's put his thoughts on it. Or somebody else has put their thoughts on it. It contains the complete text of Sun Tzu in boldface and selected commentaries. And the selected commentaries, oh, okay. The commentary in this translation has been selected from a standard collection of 11 interpreters who lived from the 2nd to 12th centuries. And they're fucking idiots. They're literally fucking idiots. Like, <laughs> I can read it. I can read what he's written. I don't need your idiotic fucking comments. <laughs> like, like, do you know what I mean? Like, what the hell? What the hell? I don't, I don't need to hear some idiot's thoughts. I can just read what he said. And I can work it out. Duh, because he's written it in... Like, well, it's translated into English, isn't it? He did a little bit, yeah, Wolfpark. He was wrong, wasn't he, in, uh, in, in one of the things? One of the things, like, technology made him wrong. Essentially. Eventually. Eventually. I mean, he was right at the time. For a long time, he was right. Feels good to be right. Block him and then chain him away. Do we blitz this guy? Makes it a bit more reliable, doesn't it? Oh, 
Hello, Rick. Yeah, it's it's a bit rubbish to be honest. It was way better. I, I should have won two more games. Honestly, I should have won two more games yesterday. I um, I threw away. I threw away two guaranteed wins and turned them into draws. Do we do the one, or do we move the ball up here? I feel like the ball up there is okay. Yeah, th these should be 6-0. and all. Honestly, these should be 6-0. and all. I like mid. I made mispositions by one square twice, and it cost me two touchdowns. And even after that, I had like dice to still score, but like those two, one square away moves, caused me uh, caused me to lose. Well, draw, draw two games. Yes, very good, Dimmy. Very good, Dimmy. I mean, most of it's fine. It's just, it's not like it's not much. Honestly, like I've I've read it before, The Art of War. It's not really clever or anything. Like it's really not clever. It's I think it's it's just obvious. I just think it's literally obvious. Like everything in it is just clearly obvious. The only thing is, the only thing that isn't is. Uh, Well, no, in fact, it's like it's wrong now, right? Like, think some of the things are just literally wrong due to the way that things are bad. Well, not perfect, nearly perfect, but ball, right? That was the thing, Duran. Nearly perfect. I, I made two mistakes and drew two games because of it. Very sad. Yeah, now, now I'm not going to play perfectly, right? I'm not going to miss position twice. Now I'm not going to miss position twice. Now I'm going to play completely perfectly. Nearly perfect, not good enough. Have to play perfectly. Haha, <laughs> not like this guy. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha. Dwarf stink, he says. Dwarves for noob. Do you make some skull? That would not be perfect play. How embarrassing. <laughs> Longer turn equals more skulls. <laughs> yeah, it's funny, isn't it, when your team is all dead and, like, been dead for thousands of years. To say the other team stinks is a bit silly, isn't it?
<laughs> nice dodge, mate. Show me regen. Can't be in him after the regen. Don't want to play anymore. I don't want to play anymore. No. <laughs> That's not fair. Oh, he's on 13 as well. I still think I'm better off just handing off, right? It's easy. It's natural to get runner touchdowns, and it's not easy to get uh, blitzer touchdowns. Dorfs essentially got buffed in 2020. <laughs> I mean, dwarves are pretty good, right? They're not so good in NAF because it's harder for them to win matches. Like, actually win, right? It's hard for them to win tournaments. It's hard for them to win games against good players. Win a lot of games. Like, it's just hard for them to win, isn't it? It's hard, like, it's easier for, like, wood elves to win and then a bit harder for undead to win. Well, no, probably a bit harder for lizards to win then a bit harder for undead to win. And then even harder for like dwarves to win, basically. Like that's the only thing that's wrong with them. Uh, I'm gonna nail his mighty blow guy. Consider yourself nailed. I mean, they're still good at winning, right? They're, they're, but it's just it's just harder. Like you know, that, that's the thing. It's just harder for them to win than than other teams, basically. They're still fine at it, obviously. Like they still win tournaments. They get a good win rate. They're totally fine. I mean, they're broken in redraft, I think that's the thing. They're definitely broken in redraft. <sighs> Master Splinter Hero Quest. <laughs> hero Clicks isn't just Marvel and DC, is it? They had they had Aliens Hero Clicks, didn't they? I'm pretty sure. And, ha and Halo. Or horror clicks. It was similar to hero clicks. They had alien and predator things in horror clicks.
<laughs> you have them too. I thought about getting the aliens, you know, to do to do what's a what's it called? Space Hulk, right? Because <laughs> what I did with Space Hulk, this is what I did with Space Hulk. I bought the box, um, you know, and it was seventy quid when it came out. Sold all of the things inside the box for about 130, but kept the rules. <laughs> so I can I can still play it if I want. <laughs> I was quite happy with that. Hello? I want to get this uh, runner off. I did think about fouling him, by the way, but then I thought that would just remind me that he can foul me, so I didn't want to foul on purpose. Hello, Anarius. Glorious. Typing like PC. <laughs> I love that typing like PC is a thing now. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we can hear him. Do the Skaven BM touchdown. <laughs> Skaven BM touchdown with a with a dwarf. Wonderful. I don't have three. One, two, don't have a three so. They were, they were talking in PCs chat a lot, weren't they, about it? They are some undercooked, undercooked chips, by the way. The Volcajo is having. Nah, they were, they're not bad, actually. Uh, yeah, pretty bad. Some of them are alright, but the, the worst ones are on the top. Some of the ones underneath are, are an acceptable colour. Vile eggs. Vile eggs. Too much sauce with the beans. Zero out of ten.
would not eat. Also, this is breakfast, and there's, there's how many chips are there for breakfast? Oh god, is it breakfast? Yeah, it was 9:21 a.m. Who wants chips for the breakfast? Especially raw ones. <laughs> Brilliant, here we go, the Rando turn 16. Death. Way. Poor works. Good apple. Yeah, sliced potato things, but not a plate. This is essentially a plate full of chips. With some horrible beans, some horrible eggs. A multitude of mushrooms for some reason. There you go. And yeah, I don't even know what this thing is. Is that because it's veggie? I didn't even. I didn't want. To, I didn't even want to touch on what that was. <laughs> rancid. Completely rancid. Veggie burger. I couldn't imagine eating a veggie burger. And I can safely say that I never will eat a veggie burger. Oh, hey. I can't even spell Blood Bowl. I wanted to do that, you know, from like. Yeah. From, from what's he called? What me, bro? Oh man, that poker player. I really like him. I can never remember his name as well. Oh man. And he's like, these guys can't even spell poker. Can't remember his name, but he's funny. Oh wow, Longbeard gets another skill. Amazing. Twenty. Yeah, hell me if. Yep. I can never remember his name. 29, 34, 28. So totally reasonable dice. 38, 47, 38. Totally reasonable dice. <laughs> Oops. Uh, but I was a looker dog. There you go. He taught me. Oh, double. Uh, I think that is going to have to be mighty blow, isn't it? Yep. Yep. He had a good record, four two two, that's pretty good with Cameron. <laughs> Pushes against fleshy. Glorious. I always I always only ever push flesh golems. Like everything I'm sure like everything else, you know, it's like a 55% knockdown when you hit them, or a 75% defenseless. But like versus fleshies, it's it's just like 90% pushes. No matter, no matter who's hitting them, it's like all you ever seem to be able to roll. This sounds a bit like salt. This is just a funny tale, Wolfback. It's not really salt, is it? It's just a, it's just a, a remark based upon perception bias that that's how it feels against fleshies, isn't it? You always feel like you're all loads of pushes again. It's not actual salt wolf bark. You dickhead. Don't make you f me fucking ban you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, wolf bark. Sorry, okay. I'll be I'll try and be even more bland. I shall attempt I shall attempt to be even more bland. I do apologize. Yeah, that's the thing. Salt's really good. Why is salt a bad thing? Why is salt, like, salt's really good. Salt's, like, about the best thing you can put on food, food, isn't it? Like, why would anybody want things to not be salty? It's just idiotic, isn't it? Oh, maybe that won't be zero salt, then. Why is salt bad? It's brilliant. Imagine how, like, having eggs without salt on them. Whoa. <laughs> right. Anyway, um, five, two, zero... Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.